you find yourself worrying about everything. Yani, you worry about what to eat, what to drink, where to go, what to do. How will you get the money you're worrying about tomorrow? Let me first of all give you a scripture. You know, my purpose on this channel is to help you uh, bridge forex and the spiritual, like bridge this is forex this is god i want you to i'm the one that is helping you to understand how this is for the house this forex is so spiritual so i know the video is about five rules i know i know you have clicked because you want to know that those five rules and worry about money but do you know there's a scripture that says from the book of let me read for you matthew chapter 6 verse 25 the bible says that i tell you do not worry do not worry about your life what you will eat, what you will drink, about your body, hey, what you will wear. It's not life more than food and body more than clothes. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap, store away in bands, and yet your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any of you by worrying? Can any of you by worrying? add a single hour of your life the bible is saying clearly do not worry and for me i have come to realize sometimes we take the word of god if you if you if you take this scripture and you say i will not worry on what to eat i will not worry on how on what to drink i will not worry on what to uh, and on what to wear like and you have kids and you have a house to pay the rent. Sometimes people take literally the word of God and they say, see, I have the word of God. It has to work on myself. So this word is so simple. If you use the principles of God, the word says that God shall bless the work of your hands. So if you are doing exactly the principles of God, this word is for those people who are doing the principles of God. So if you are so principled, like if you're following a way where God is telling you, if you work, I will bless the work of your hands. Now you can do this scripture. Now you can say, by the way, I will not worry because there's so much that I'm doing. So in this video, I want to teach you, you know, in Forex trading, people come here and you, they will tell you all manner of things. And when you go alone to trade, you are by yourself. So for me, I want to help you in this journey. I want to tell you that at least if you master these five rules, you will not worry of money again. So I am combining the scripture, Matthew 6, and then I am helping you to work because you can imagine, you cannot lazy around and say, I will do this scripture and it will work for me. No, that's not how, how God intended. Even God himself, you remember God created he had to work. He did six days creating the earth, yet he was God. So the principle that is there here on earth, we have to do something with our hands so that the scripture can become alive. They can become active. It can perform. Okay. So if you're a Forex trader, you just need to master these rules. There are five. I'll be reading the rules and I will help you every day to tell yourself, by the way, am I doing the rules that Esther Mofri gave me? Am I doing those rules? Am I doing the rules? Because if you fail to do the rules, what happens is that you'll be, have you ever seen people who expect, do the same thing every day, they wake up, they do the same thing, but they want a different result. For me, I always tell my, my students, half effort gives no results, half effort gives no results. Full effort gives a hundred percent results. So you can't say, but yesterday I woke up at 3 a.m. The question is, are you waking up at 3 a.m. every single day? Consistency. But but last week I analyzed the market, but last week I was so glued in the chat. The question is, are you glued every single week or are you glued on Monday and then Tuesday, Wednesday, you are off the chart and then you come back on Friday and then in the weekend, you don't do weekly analysis. Like, is that your case? So let's go to the first rule. Number one rule, guys, I want you to tell you is that treat trading like a business. I have seen so many people who say, how are you so obsessed with trading? This is my business. The same way someone is employed, they are nurse, they are doctors, they are lawyers, they wake up every morning to go and report to work. As, as Forex traders, our, we report to the charts. That's how we report. And we have to give 
we have to give a weekly report and that's what you do by doing weekly analysis so i want you to treat forex trading like a business the time you will switch from trading like a hobby from trading like because you want to pass time for trading because you want a get rich quick would you be employed today and you want to buy a car tomorrow let's be real like you have to you have to start uh taking forex like a real business this is a real business that there is a process the same way someone can go to a company they are cleaner they are just cleaner and after after one month three months one year they are promoted and they're now messenger after another year they are promoted now they are uh, they are receptionists, they are promoted, they become salesperson to appoint their managers, they are supervisors. It is a process. The minute you come with that mindset that trading is a, is a, you take it as a business. And of course, you can't start a business today and you want to get the profits tomorrow. And I think that's what, uh, that's where majority of people go wrong. You are employed, but you want to be a Forex trader. Of course, you can be a Forex trader but you will find that your job is taking more time than the forex so you will have you might have progress but it will be slow progress so those people who put in time and those people who do forex as a business they have more results they are consistent they become more profitable than someone who just comes because they they feel oh and I, and I know there are many people, you can comment down below, there are people who trade Forex when they are broke because if they are working, they have a business. When they start sensing they are broke, they don't have money, they come back to Forex because they will just want to make quick money. The one rule that can help you as a Forex trader is take Forex as a business. Do you have the time that you wake up every single morning? If you're not employed, let's say you are um, you 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 do forex because now you're at home. Do you have a specific time that you do your analysis? If you're a day trader, do you check every four hours for a four hour candle? Do you have alarm? Like, does it give you alerts for you to check the market? Or you enter the trade and you come after one day and you find either you're in drawdown or the market has given you money. Like, how do you trade? Do you really take it as a business? Do you take Forex as a business? Do you say like, I want to invest? Uh, and people who come even to my class, I have seen so many people who come to my class. There are people who have really taken Forex as a business. And they, those people, majority of people quit their job and now they want to focus on Forex. And they start saying, because I don't want to waste more time going from one mentor, one mentor to going on YouTube. I just want to look for a good mentor. And if you're in that position and you want to take Forex business as a business, you need a good mentor. You need time to wake up, time to analyze. You need, you need all these things. So take Forex as a business. Number two. Always use a trading plan. Always use a trading plan. Trading plan is very important, guys. Trading plan is very important. Like every week before, before on Monday, and I don't know if I show you trading plan. I don't know if I show you guys one of the trading plans, but it is so important to have a trading plan. When you're when you're coming uh, every week, when you're waking up and you want to see, I, let me just show you what I mean, a trading plan. Let's share. Uh, let me share with you what I mean by a trading plan. So by the way, if you have not followed me on Telegram, you have to follow me on Telegram. Click the link below. We have more free effects. You see, this more free effects, we have 12,000 subscribers and avoid scammers who are pretending to be me. So when you come here, these are case studies that I have done, guys. This is to show people that I always have a trading plan. I do not go in a new week without knowing what I'm trading. Now I want to, when you, when you, when you register for international class, the one that I'm charging 1500 this is the group that I will add you. If you buy a course, exactly this is where I will, I will add you. Either you're buying a course of $1,000 or you want the one-on-one -on -one Zoom class. This is the group. It's called Mofri Effects International Students. So I always post, uh, uh, we are trading with my students every week. And last week, this is what, and I want, I hope I'm sharing. I hope you can see, uh, let me see, yeah. 
So I'm sharing. So I want to show you exactly what I mean by, uh, by having a trading plan. So every week, even after I do this video, I, I am giving my student a trading plan for the next week. So I want to show you what I mean. So we have opened this. So let me again make sure we are seeing this. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to be uh to be showing you. So the strategy that when you have a trading plan, it goes this way. Number one, you need to know the strategy that you're trading. So for me, I I have three profitable strategies. The first strategy that you will come in my class, I will teach you BTB strategy. So I have 10 profitable strategy, but the ones for entry. Seven are for confirmation, three are for entry. I don't know if you get that, but once you come to my class, I will explain. So BTB is one of the strategy for entry. We have RWC is the strategy for entry and BRC is a strategy for entry. But for OPT, from OPT, RBV, RWR, all those strategies are for confirmation. So every having a trading plan, this is what I mean. When you have a trading plan, you just need to, you just need to, uh, you just need to have the pairs that you're trading that the following week. So here I, I was saying BTB setup, it was 30th Monday, September. So these were the plans for the last, the, the week that has ended. So I was analyzing Euro NZD, GBP NZD, GBP NZD, like all these, these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I was analyzing 10 pairs. And we were just waiting for the market to give us entry. So when I come to this week, let's say when I did this and I posted to the group, I told them, guys, we have 10 pairs that our eyes are looking upon. And if you you are on my free telegram, you can, you can attest that I gave free signals on the public a page and also there are some trades that I always only gave my students so you can see from now we started the case study of GBPUSD and I want you to take forex as a business if you don't take forex as a business then what are you doing what are you doing yes you're praying God oh God I want I want to buy that car I want to buy uh, I want to buy a land I want to to travel but when God looks at your hands there's nothing you're doing so here I was doing GBPUSD 60 pips case study. So I started to analyze. So we analyze with my students. So the beginning, this is the weekly setup. And then I give them on four hour and I tell them, wait on four hour for that market to break. Once it broke and I am waiting to see how. So we entered immediately the breaking and we were just targeting 60 pips. And that was an, a, a, a trade that gave us money. We went to Euro GBP, another 60 pips case study. I am following these trades because I want to know what will really happen. So the market breaks and then I go to four hour, I am waiting. So the strategy is BTB strategy. You may not even know why I am flipping time frame because you don't know the strategy. So this is the strategy that we are using. So you the BTB strategy use two time frames. So you need time frame one and time frame two. So in this case is we are using weekly and four hour. So for our, we wait for the market to break. You can see the market broke, we entered. And because we are trusting the strategy, even once we went on a drawdown, because here we went on a drawdown of like 40 pips, the market still um, came up and hit our take profit. This is what we are calling a trading plan. The only reason I'm showing you guys is for you to have your own trading plan. And you can do this. You can have like a PDF. These are the pairs that I'm checking. These are the mark. These are the pairs. So the GBP and ZD 123 pips case study and all this, they hit TP. We are not coming here to fail. We don't wake up in on Monday to, to, to chance. No, we don't chance in Forex. We are coming with confidence, with a mindset. I told you about high mind, having a high mind, a high mind. I already have it. I already own it. I already in it. So I'm not coming here to second guess myself. So this was GBP and ZD. So in this case, we are using daily and four hour. And again, the market did what? The market uh, gave us a big retracement on GBP and ZD. You can see there was a retracement, but eventually it hit TP. So we had Euro Audi 10 pips case study. Here we only got 10 pips. And I don't know if you're checking what I do. For me, I will analyze for my student. GBPOD, we got 90 pips. And these are 
peeps that we got last week, guys. So GBP ODK study, and I will do this, and I will do this every single week, and I will know which trade did well. So you can see for GBP AUD, whenever we enter the trade, the market gave us 90 pips. USD card was our worst performing trade. So I, if we, when we entered USD card, uh, the sell on USD card, I think this trade, I even gave it on the public, the market started to go up. In fact, the market is is on the like it it is just reversed on us so i'm not yet to know what really happened but usd card failed so i already know usd card failed and i want to understand why did it fail when you have a trading plan you will know these ones they are working this one they are not working and then we have euro nzd was 110 pips and you can see when we had that for our waiting for the market to break, the market broke and the market hit 110 pips. Cut CHF, we didn't know what really happened. We were waiting on GBPUSD. When the market broke, it never gave us a point to enter. So I understood that there are sometimes we will not be given opportunity. GBP card also gave us zero pips because we didn't have an opportunity. And Euro USD. In short, what I'm trying to say, it is important, let me stop sharing. It is important to have a trading plan, okay? It is very important to have a trading plan. I know I have spent a lot of time on trading plan, but that is what it means by a trading plan. When you wake up on Monday, don't start looking for trades on Monday. You would have done that on Saturday and on Sunday when the market is closed. You have to come with a clear mind that this week I'm not trading certain pairs because they never met my rules over the weekend. The other thing is to know you are when. I won't emphasize more. Like, like how many how many times can I tell you when? what is the importance of knowing you are when? The whens are five, and I want you to write whens. Your when are five of them, and majority they don't even know. They don't even know. Number one, your when, when to buy, when to sell, when to hold. So you have to understand that you have to, to know that the market is buying, but when do I buy it? When do I sell it? When do I hold? Sometimes people get just 20 pips and they close the market. And this market is giving you 100 plus pips. You get 50 pips, you close. When to hold, you have to understand that this is the, my moment to hold this market to maximize the profits. The other when is when to exit. Sometimes you can be holding on a wrong trade. And that's why we say people hope when they're supposed to be fearful and they fear when they're supposed to be hopeful. So when to exit, you are hopeful the market will hit your take profit but the market has really shown that this trade is not going anywhere. In fact, you're supposed to be exiting. So the question is, do you know when to exit? And the last one, when to avoid. Do you understand when you should avoid the market? Do you understand when you should avoid the market? Or you just trade every single day? And if you have noticed, majority of people lose money when they see PI news, NFP news, on all kinds of news. So if, you, if you're not yet there trading the news when the market is volatile, why don't you avoid it? Why ha or have you ever called yourself in a meeting and say, how do I act or how are my trades whenever we have the news? So if you find your, you always blow account on CPI, or NFP and other Canadian news that are very, very strong, why don't you avoid trading the news? If you if you find that mostly on Fridays, I blow my money and I, and I enter wrong trades, why do you trade on Friday? So you have, what works for me may not work for you. And that's why once month's poison, one month's meat is another one's poison. So some, I cannot come here and say, don't trade on Friday, don't trade on Monday, don't trade news. No, it may work on you, it is not working on me. So you have to know what works for you. Number four, rule, you are, a, you are, you are forever a student. Some people, they think they have made it and they have come to a place of being enough. You can never be enough in Forex. You will always learn. Keep learning. That's why I keep changing my strategies. For me, I'm open to learn. That is a rule. Like when you when you when you are trading and you start making 
a hundred dollar, two hundred dollars, and you open YouTube and you find someone speaking about a strategy, don't say, ah, I don't need to listen to them. Just listen. They may teach you something that you may not know. So learning is forever, guys. You will always learn. When I tell people my mentorship is for two weeks physical, a thousand dollars, and I have a Zoom mentorship for fifteen hundred for a whole month. Someone will tell you, but will I understand in two weeks? But I will I understand in one month? My friend, even if I give you one year of training, you will still have some missing links. There is no way you can exhaust Forex. So I try to tell my students, just come for two weeks, we start to lay foundation. Let's start to lay foundation. At least you start from somewhere because you can never exhaust learning. That's your rule. You will never exhaust learning. So you will keep learning. You will keep learning. Just understand why do people behave this way? Why do the market behave this way? Why do psychology is like this? Why do people say 80% psychology, 20% skill? Continue learning. If your strategy is working, if you improve with something else maybe your psychology it can be even more better so learning is everlasting <laughs> it has no end um the last one activate your spiritual guidance forex is spiritual forex is spiritual guys forex is spiritual i won't shy away from saying that forex is spiritual even if you don't acknowledge god there is what you are acknowledging. The Bible says, acknowledge me, acknowledge the Lord, acknowledge God, and I, the Lord, will make your path straight. Imagine you're being told just to acknowledge. When you're trading, just say, God has given me this knowledge. The Bible says that God has given me the ability to create the wealth. Just acknowledge God. So activate the spiritual guidance. Don't come here by yourself. Because even if you, you don't acknowledge God, there is what you're acknowledging, even if you don't know. Because everyone is submitted to a spiritual guidance. It can be a godly guidance. It can be whatever you want to call it. I don't want to call it. It can either be godly. There's someone who asked me. <laughs> I got this funny comment. Like, you say about Forex is spiritual. Oh, um, you need guidance from God. The Holy Spirit has taught you. What about those people who don't believe in God? Those people who don't believe in the Holy Spirit and they are doing well in the Forex market. My friend, if you're not submitted to the Holy Spirit, there's the spirit that you are submitted to. Remember people, there's the spirit called the Mammon spirit. If you don't know, I will talk about it because we will discuss anything about money in this channel. And if you want me to talk about the mammon spirit, comment down below. Maybe the reason why you're not even succeeding in Forex is because the mammon spirit has hold on you. Maybe that's the reason. So don't say, but those people, they don't do for, they don't pray God. They are not spiritual. They, are, they don't speak in tongues. They don't. And you think they are successful because their life is vacuum. Nobody who can have a vacuum. There's a spirit that you are submitted to. Just understand, even if you don't acknowledge God, there's what is speaking on your behalf. Remember when the man fell, when Adam fell, this world was dominated by another spirit. So as long as you do not accept that Jesus died on the cross for your sin, and as long as you don't accept the salvation of humankind, of course, who is your ruler? That's the question. Who is your ruler? So for me, I will tell you, activate your spiritual guidance. And I, I, and I think I'll do a video explaining how to pray the right way, how to activate your spiritual guidance, how to do all this. Because at the end of the day, remember, Forex shall end. Everything shall end. But the word of God shall remain to be the same. God is God of yesterday, today, and forever. He does not change. So... If you have these rules, man, you will not worry of money again. Because now you will take the scripture from Matthew chapter 6. Why would you worry? Even if you worry, would you add a day in your life? Would you add by worrying? What is, why are you worrying? Because the Bible says, don't worry. But you see, my people perish for lack of knowledge. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Many people are in darkness. And in darkness, I mean, they are not aware of what to do. The simple things I've done, the five of them, if you just put more attention, like if you just say, by the way, 
what has she said? Like, let me just have a trading plan. Let me take it as a business. Let me know my what, my when. By the way, I, I need to avoid the market when there is news. Let me, let me just, let me just allow myself to learn. Even if I know, let me allow myself to earn. But then let me activate my spiritual guidance. Those are the five rules that will make you never worry about money again. All the best, guys. I love you so much. And I'm happy we are almost hitting 100,000 subscribers. So if you have not subscribed, imagine you're the one who is making us not hit the 100 subscribers. We are 12,000 away. 12,000, imagine. So like this video, comment, share it with at least five people and see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.